One of the biggest challenges that we run into with the military edition is finding 50 pocket watches to turn into wristwatches. There's literally over a hundred parts or components in there that have to work. We can't lose something. We can't break anything in the process. Replacing something means using a part from another watch that could have been one of the 50. So the first step in the process is finding the movements to build these watches out of. It's something that we need to work on all year throughout the year just to be able to make as many of these as we do. The second step in the process is restoring the watch, making the watch function as close to original as possible without modifying any of the parts in the watch. Once we have the restored movements back here in our facility, we put them into pre-testing before we build the watch. Those timekeeping rates together so that when you wear it on your wrist and you're moving it around, that it will keep good time while you're using it. While all of this restoration work is going on in the assembly room, in the machine room, we're fabricating the case components. So each of these cases starts as a chunk of stainless steel. Each case is milled on a CNC milling machine. Stainless steel is what a lot of things in World War II were made out of. When you hold it, you know it was made in America. You know it's quality. The last thing that's done before final testing is assembly. If we've done our job right, the movement will go right into the watch and everything will work. One of the parts that we don't make here is the strap of the watch. These green canvas straps are actually made using bags that were taken to Vietnam. The other strap that we're including with the military edition this year is 100% American bison leather. We just think these have a really cool rustic look that work with this year's military edition, hand-stitched, handmade by Greg Stevens. And this year, something we've never done before is apply a patina to the stainless steel. And this gives it kind of a dark, rustic look that isn't perfect, that makes it look a little old. And I think is something very interesting that we've never done before. When we manufactured the military edition, we didn't want to just ship you a watch. We wanted to build an entire experience around owning this watch because it is a piece of history and it has stories to tell. So why don't we tell some more stories? This isn't just another luxury watch. People don't know the critical role that these watches played in winning the war. This is something that's truly historically significant. This is the real thing.